At 12 point, today's T's for the breakfast table. Third column across, down and to the right. Made page three, mind you, reads, Lancelot loses unfaithful Ophelia, stabs Guinevere in unbridled rage. Page three, mind you. The juicy stuff's always in the rear. Better than that storefront window dressing, the never-ending current of unbelievable events. Provocative pronouncements stripped down like spring break virgins, Adam sands the fig. Bombastic verbs to rattle and rag on about Photoshop politicians, war-torn what's it, Slenovia, super jock aftershock, action figure adventures, and a good murder if there's one to be had. Publishers, not editors, now calling the big shots. And here's the deal. Corporate co-conspirators, board game magnets and such profit more on rumors of Kardashian hit lists, interviews with idiots, elves, and infidels, and with no explanations ever given up or out. Even if, even if redemption were to share bankers' hours in unforgiving perdition, and there were four horses stampeding apocalypse, the shake, 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 and bake would still come down to Trump's pets or Clinton-esque game show symphonic dishwashers. The out of focus has become fashionable, my friend. The envisioned world ever so slightly misconstrued, smoke and mirror manifestations, a big fresh serving of those same old cow chips till the bleeding sheeps come home. We are lost in step one of a two-step trust-busted legislative filibuster. Our ups unsubstantiated existence like Persian rugs, periwinkle, and paisley pattern. It's all fractal distraction, all mental farts unmentioned, all sated minds closed in the presence of objectivity. Standing on the promises, we are standing on the promises of God. The idea that there is at least one suspended notion existing in some obscure cerebral chamber and to that simple someone, it might seem as though ignorance had been improperly introduced. First lady-like, but you know, wearing hot pants and a tattered t-shirt, protruding butt cheeks, cracks and cleavage, few would deny the coming of any such attraction, a hollow victory for the other other, I suppose. So, where was that just broken news story all perpendicular and six o'clock suggestive, that, that tragic breakup of China cups and tea parties, mad hatters and Midwestern moderates, toes trampled by that belligerent bull elephant, bullied from the pulpit, so to speak, might be an end to it all, moving right along, moving the right along. Go on, gospel your gospel, gossip. Spill the red beans and rice. What about the children, all wide-eyed and insolent? Toddlers taken in by trick of tongue, tongue, click of gun, trained to iPhone, Amazon control, stand by for further instructions. Beware old dogs, beware old wives' tale. Be aware that change is everything you'll ever, ever need. And this too will come to be forgiven, forgotten. After all, Twitter feed never lies. Every Gen Y knows the frozen yogurt man is the real enemy here. If sooner or after the fact questions arise, hormones can still be excused. Pigtails and ink justified. Millions to kill softly. This incommunicative mission, digital transmission, intellectual genocide. Let loose the Avengers. Eat like adults. Shit like adults, shoot like adults. What's not to love? Here's the hopping, cataclysmic schisms, polysymbolic cross-dressers, unskilled rocket scientists, and grammatically abdicated cannabis users. Apparently, it can only be considered a local affront. Wow, those pushing to the back, note that splintering social fissures mantra fork the establishment, pitch vir viral memes in random posts on Facebook, politically sketched and poetic poetically hypothesized for the purpose of dot, dot, dot. This trail mix has become fraught with danger, a natural landscape becoming somehow unnatural at height of absurdity, ears to bleed, silence to suspend common sense, life unceremoniously sliced up like a loaf of bunny bread, making it all so easy. We sink into the hush of critical think, let go the reasonable, let loose the logical. The weather is not changing, it will continue to rain. I predict insults and animal crackers, Strife enough to flood our muddy brains. Tell me, oh, Megalomedia, where is God when we need her? <laughs> Feel the burn.